This is chapter six, homework six, number six. So again, here we're asked to use this theorem quoted in the directions to prove that these two things are inverses. So we're gonna start by doing f of g of x. So I'm gonna take my function for g of x and plug it into x for f of x. I'm gonna have five and then square root x plus seven over five squared minus seven. Now the squared is gonna cancel the square root And the times five is gonna cancel the divides by five. And the plus seven cancels the minus seven. And you're done. Now we have to do g of f of x. So the same idea here, except we're gonna take f of x, put it in place for the x in g of x. So in place of x, I have x squared, or 5x squared minus 7. Then I still have the plus 7 over 5. If I combine my like terms, negative 7 and positive 7 add to give you 0. The uh, divides by 5 and times 5 cancel. And the square root it cancels with the x squared and we're left with just x. And that's it for that one.